Hello there, I hope you're doing fine. Thanks for watching my views and news. Three news stories. First one is from the Amhara region, Kobo town, North Wollo zone. Clashes ongoing in the vicinity of Kobo a city. Relative calm in other parts of the Amhara region for the last two days, but uh, clashes erupted close to Kobo. Details for you. Second viewers, uh, triggerize parties, opposition parties, alliance for radical change. A newly formed opposition alliance issued a statement today. I want to say a few words about uh, a term used by this alliance in today's statement. It is going to be hard for these opposition parties to find international partners if they keep on using this term. And thirdly, Eritrean opposition brigade Nehamedo members are stepping up their protests and now they are protesting in front of Israeli embassies across the world. Third protest in front of Israeli embassies in the past three to four days. Two were held today. Firstly, we are the Kobo town north wallo zone of the amhara region hometown of ofano commander imere wodajo uh, yesterday a clip of mere wodajo was shared uh, he was heard complaining that Kob that fano was facing shortage of logistics but uh, as i said uh, today that clip is old so it has been confirmed it's not a new clip and we know that uh, Mirabhadra Joe's family is in uh, Kobo. His family members were arrested a few days ago, a few weeks ago rather. And uh, Istamara Fano of uh, Vodha Joe has been relatively silent lately. But today clashes erupted between East Amhara Fano fighters and Ethiopian military. I think there was uh, an attack on an ENDF a convoy in Kobo yesterday. Uh, some hand grenades were thrown uh, at ENDF vehicles, then ENDF vehicles uh, fired back at people. Two were killed yesterday. And then uh, clashes uh, erupted close to Kobo. Now, uh, clashes are uh, being reported in multiple directions. Main road is closed. Kobo or to Alamata, Kobo or to Valdia road is closed reportedly. Uh, clashes are ongoing in northern, uh, southern and eastern directions. Both to the east and west of Kobo, there are mountainous places. And Fano fighters have their positions in these uh, mountains. Near Aradom, there are clashes. Aradom is between uh, Kobo and Kobo Robit. Towards Vajatu, uh, which is uh, on... Uh, southern Tegrai Amhara border clashes are being reported and to the east of Kobo on mountains uh, clashes being reported. Uh, clashes are uh, ongoing very close to Kobo city and reportedly people are fleeing Kobo but roads are closed especially the Kobo to Vildia link is uh, closed. East Amhara Fano after relative uh, uh, silence uh, is now uh, showing that it is there in the vicinity of Kobo city. There is relative calm in other parts of Amhara region. Why? Uh, is it uh, because of, uh, uh, the, uh, is it an indication that military is in control? Fano fighters uh, are uh, at the back foot. Well, uh, we heard uh, four to five days ago that there would be relative calm on New Year, Ethiopian New Year. But Fano, uh, people close to Fano, they said they would not make an announcement. Because if they make announcements of uh, ceasefire, of uh, uh, decrease in uh, fighting uh, and opening of roads, uh, the announcement could be used by military. But it was unofficially agreed by Fano factions to hold fire on New Year. That is why, uh, if you are following the conflict in Amhara, relative calm in the Amhara region, 
within the past three to four days. Things could escalate, I think, in the coming days. Uh, this relative calm is not due to the uh, due to any party's battlefield leverage. It was mainly due to Ethiopian New Year celebrations. That is what I learned from the ground. Uh, Mere Bada Joe is showing that he is there. His fan of action there. No shortage of logistics. Shortage of logistics complaint uh, is an old video. It is not related to the ongoing uh, conflict in the Amhara region. Secondly, we heard the Tegaray opposition parties formed an alliance a few days ago and they announced to protest in Makale more than a week ago. They were not allowed to protest. Their protest rally was attacked by security forces. Opposition members, workers were arrested, tortured, beaten. Later, they were released after a court granted them bail. Opposition party, Salsevojene, Bethona, Tegaray Independence Party has formed alliance for radical change. This Alliance for Radical Change issued a statement today saying that uh, the struggle of opposition parties is not a one-day event. Struggle will continue. New schedule will be announced. New detailed statement will be issued uh, soon. Uh, opposition parties use the term nationalism today. That, that this struggle for Tegaray nationalism will continue. Opposition parties attacked people and institutions uh, in outside Ethiopia, uh, which condemned uh, violence on opposition parties in uh, Tigray. Now, Tigray nationalism is one of the terms used by opposition parties in today's statement. If these opposition parties raise the slogan of uh, Tegaray nation, of independence of Tegaray, it would be difficult for these opposition parties to get allies in international community. No one is going to back any group in Tegaray which is in support of secession. And uh, these opposition parties have gained sympathy from diaspora community, from human rights organizations, from uh, some Ethiopian parties too, because of their democratic right to protest in Makale. But if they start calling for an independent Tigray country, it would be difficult for them to get this type of support. Yes, Tigray diaspora community was overwhelmingly supportive of a Tigray independent country. Uh, but this diaspora community was uh, supportive of uh, TDF2, Tigray Defense Force. In Pretoria deal, uh, TPLF agreed to dismantle uh, Tigray Defense Force and TPLF agreed to give up its uh, demand uh, or future demand for secession. That is what PM Abi said a few days ago at a parliament meeting. So there is no question of uh, Tegaray parties demanding independence. These opposition parties can get allies. They can get local support, uh, national support, regional support, international support if they struggle against TPLF. But if they want to struggle for an independent Tigray, they will be facing difficulties. They will be losing allies. They do not have this type of public support in uh, Tigray. Even federal government will back Tigray government more in the crackdown on Tigray opposition parties, if these opposition parties start calling and they are calling for Tigray independent country. Yes, a Tigray nation uh, remaining part of Ethiopia would be obviously acceptable. But if by Tigray nationalism they mean that Tigray should be a separate country and they are struggling for that, they will be in a difficult position, I think. Uh, TPLF will get public, uh, TPLF will get federal government support uh, in crackdown on opposition party. Let us see what 
opposition parties announce about the second uh, phase of its struggle. Thirdly, words error, yeah, Brigade Nihami, the opposition uh, group members are now protesting in front of Eritrean embassies across the world. The protests are being held uh, in response to what happened in Tel Aviv, Israel, where in a clash between Eritrean pro-government and opposition groups, dozens were injured after that Israeli government arrested uh, people from both sides uh, and it started a trial to deport Eritreans. Uh, this is being heard at a court in Israel. Some opposition Brigade Hamidu members have been released, others are in custody. No decision be made by uh, the judge in, in Israel. The protests are being held by Brigade Nehamidu members against the Eritrean embassy in Tel Aviv, Israel. Three protests so far. First one was held in London in front of Eritrean embassy by Brigade Nehamidu members uh, three to four days ago. Today, two protests. One was held in Canada, Ottawa, in front of Eritrean embassy. Second one was held in the Netherlands, uh, again in front of Eritrean embassy by Brigade Nehamidu members. Brigade Nehamidu members are demanding closure of Israeli, uh, closure of Eritrean embassy in Israel. They are demanding deportation of pro-government Eritrean community in Israel. They are demanding the release of Brigade Nehamidu members who are still in custody of you in Israel. So, it seems to be the start of second phase of Brigade Nehamidu member struggle. First phase was to close uh, Eritrean government backed festivals programs organized in Europe, America, uh, Canada. And we saw that uh, these opposition members by force closed these festivals. Festivals were, festivals were attacked in Europe, uh, Israel, Canada, America. Now, second phase is starting. Protests now in front of Eritrean embassies. Uh, I think these uh, protests uh, will continue and uh, you will see uh, these Brigade Niham, the members, to challenge the presence of Eritrean embassies in Europe and America. They will try to or close these embassies and Eritrean pro-government churches which are in Europe, Canada, America could be targeted to by opposition members. Targeted means protests could be held in front of these churches too. So, any institution, Eritrean institution which is uh, affiliated with the Eritrean government, whether it is based in Europe or in North America is going to be targeted by opposition members. They will conduct protests there, they will try to forcibly close these institutions. Let us see how Western governments respond to Brigade Niham and the members new activity. So far, it is protesting in front of embassies, peaceful protests so far. Thank you for watching.